Welcome everyone to the day two of this uh, voter stabilizer technology training program. It's a practical class, so we won't have more time going through plenty theory. As we are doing the practical, we'll be relating the brief theory we can relate. If you want more, you go 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 on that component and and see more on it. But we just want to give you, we just want to go straight and give you the points needed to get this stabilizer done. So everything, so the day two, let me just start with the component them here. Now, this is the board. And we have the first component there on our stuff which is the relay this is the relay one two three four five these are the relays and this relay they are they, they are switched in a magnetic way this are and it comes in rating if you look at what is written on them you see the road this one is 15 amp 260 volts AC meaning it can switch 15 up to 15 amps but when you go to the voltage there's a coil 12 volts DC and you can see it by the side also you can see it there on the screen also it's showing there 12 volts so meaning this is 12 volts relay now in the next video i will make a sketch on what is it okay okay when we get to the sec the place of the circuit diagram you will get to understand the circuit connection but for now this is just the, the seven major components that make up this we are dealing today the first one we are talking about is relay the relay the function is to sell do the switching voltage comes in and it's, it does a switching according to what is assigned to him to do from this board and it gives you an output of 220 so this can switch a maximum of 15 amps load so if the load is more than 15 amps this stabilizer can handle it so the relays the electromagnetic relay so meaning 12 volts energizes it and it triggers and in order to control the relay there is something they added to it and that's something is what I just want to take as number two. So I'm just going to do a switch on. Number two before it's supposed to be diode, but I'm switching number two to be transistors. Transistors, we have the bipolar, we have the three different transistors, but in stabilizer, what you see here are bipolar transistors. They have three legs, as you can see it. They have the base, they have the base, the collector and the emitter now each relay is assigned to this transistor switch this 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 so these transistors are used to switch the relays they are used to switch the relay electronically when it is time for that relay to switch they send the signal to the baseline of the transistor and that will tell the relay oh yeah do your work and that leads us to number three and that number three is resistor resistor so i'm no longer following the order of sequence here is resistor now the function of these are resistors. Resistors are semiconductor device that opposes the flow of an electric current. These things you see are resistors. They have the function on the board. And almost every section in this board add resistor because they are trying to limit the current flow Let's assume, in, for example, the current that is flowing into a particular point 
supposed to be 0.5 amp and the current that the board is supplying is 2 amp you now have to do the calculation and add a biasing resistor so that it is only a maximum of 0.5 amp needed to pass through that resistor when we get to the circuit the place of the circuit description you will understand it better but first of all the first component i mentioned is relay it does the switching the next one is transistor it sends the signal to the relay to do the switching uh, uh, to switch out the output the next one is the next one i mentioned is the resistor and you are you can see they have colors like this red 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 is 2.2k so if you want to know more about resistor you go to you chat you check on resistor color code now that will take us to the next one i'm going to mention is ic after you have done with every of the calculation the function of the ic is where you feed in the calculation you have made okay when 110 volts comes in do the selection do the switching or when 110 volts comes in it has a message that we send to the ic and this ic will send a signal through the resistors to this guy to to switch now as you can see on the screen we have three major ic that is being used here we have the lm324 we have the dev6069 we also have that of tc4021 those are the three major ic's that are using almost every stabilizers this is duravos duravos uses lm324 in subsequent time on the calculate in the circuit part we will dissect it properly but this lm324 is four in one it switches for stuff it switches for stuff four in one the next one we are going to be talking about is diode diode allow currents to flow in only one direction so they are used to to bias the board number one ac comes into the board this board works with a dc direct current voltage so you use the diode to convert that voltage from ac to dc that is the function on a board like this we use it to convert it from ac to dc the second type of diode you see are zena diode zena diode add a breakdown voltage the function of the zena diode is this let's assume you want a 5 volts to flow along that line this is zena diode you, you use a 5 volt zena diode to bias it that is the function so zena diode comes with different voltage we have the 5 volts 12 volts 9 volts 7.5 volts they are used to give a particular breakdown of voltage across that line the next one now goes to the capacitor these are the capacitor these are the capacitors we have two major type of capacitors we have the polarized and the non-polarized what do we mean by that this is polarized why because it had a negative and a positive this mark you see here is the negative side so meaning you don't fix this capacitor anyhow you have the positive side at this side and the negative legs at this side this one is the non-polarized capacitor these are the non-polarized capacitors this one had no polarity this little one you are seeing you can turn it left or turn it right look at them here they are non-polarized capacitors 
this polarized capacitor here i used to when the diode converts the ac to dc mark you is not smooth what makes it smooth is the capacitor they add in parallel to the circuit this is just component explanation when we get to that of the circuit diagram i'll be doing a lot of sketches for you to properly understand how the circuit diagram of this guy is and the next one i'm going to be dealing on is which is the second to last one is the variable re is resistor okay i've already explained resistor but i've not explained variable in place of that resistor sorry resistor i have two basic type the fix which is all these ones and the variable which is this one the variable is used to select the right voltage needed for the output at that particular time so they adjust it but don't you dare go here if you do not understand it don't temper with it if you temper with it you can't get it back again that's the blight that is lost unless you have a machine that you can use to do your calibration we tell you more calibration and the final component is fuse for 2000 watts let me just tell you the secret stabilizer from 2000 watts down work with fuse they work with fuse but when it's more than 2000 watts they work with what circuit breakers 2000 watts and below fuse more than 2000 watts they don't use fuse anymore for circuit breaker note that note that so once again i have done the explanation of this component in the subsequent video i will be make i will do in the next video which is the day three video so and finally we'll be talking about this the auto transformer this is a transformer and it's an auto transformer i did not mention it because it's not part of the component it's not part of the electronic semiconductor components but it's a part of the stabilizer so in the next class we give you detail on this guy when it comes to that of the circuit diagram we have a lot of sketches to do it's as if the three and four i we do more on that circuit diagram so that in such a way that it does not take long so this is the end of lesson two i hope this few information help. so prepare yourself for the next class coming soon thank you